Uh, welcome students to the NPTEL online certification course uh, titled Visual Communication Design for Digital Media. So today we will uh, discuss principle of design. In the previous class we discussed about elements of design and uh, the principles of designs are uh, how we uh, arrange the elements of design to create a composition. So the artist and designers plans the arrangement of element to form a visual composition. The visual arrangement is perceived by the viewer based on their experience and communication happens through the uh, visuals they look at. There exists a, a pattern uh, the way viewers perceive visual. From these patterns, visual design principles are evolved. The uh, visual arrangements are therefore should be based on these principles of design for effective visual communication. So if you uh, uh, look at this diagram, this is a uh, representation of the communication process. First we see the different elements fragmented and the designer and artist select these elements to create a visual communication. Then the user sees the composition. After that there the interpretation happens and that goes into user's mind. So if the composition is meaningful, then use, uh, user perceives the mean, meaning of the communication and the visual communication happens through the uh, com, uh, final composition. To achieve a visual composition, there are the following visual design principles. So these are one, unity, next emphasis, then proportion, balance and rhythm. So first we discuss about unity. Unity means that there is a coherence of arrangement which exists among the elements of design in the visual composition. They uh, look as though they are unified, as though some visual connection is there in the holistic composition. Another term of the unity is harmony. So visual and intellectual unity, we should not be confused between visual and intellectual unity. Visual unity is visually we connect different elements of uh, design. Suppose there are uh, circles, uh, it can be smaller circles, it can be bigger circles, but as there is a unity because of the element shape of the uh, shape of the design that is circle, we connect the designs. Similarly, if there are uh, unity in texture, unity in line quality or unity in the um, other, for, uh, other elements of design, we connect the composition. But in terms of intellectual uh, unity, the, uh, there is a thematic connection, not in, uh, not in the connection, uh, not a visual connection is there in the composition. So we uh, can define the intellectual unity as the whole must be predominant, uh, uh, the visual unity is and uh, there are different kind of uh, unity, one is visual unity and another is thematic unity. We are in the principle of design, we are actually talking about the visual uni unity. Intellectual unity is not a uh, uh, part of the principle of design. Intellectual unity is just a um, thematic unity. So uh, for example, if we talk about visual unity, so for example, if uh, in the composition there are uh, multiple circles, one circle is smaller, the other circle uh, might be bigger, even though there can be a color difference, but still because of the shape, unity in the shape, that is the element of design, we uh, perceive the composition as a holistic one. And it can be uh, in, uh, in terms of uh, texture in terms of color in terms of uh, line and other elements of design the unity can be achieved whereas the thematic unity is just a conceptual unity for example if we uh, if we um, paste the photograph of uh, a tree and a flower and a uh, fruit then we unite uh, them as a uh, parts of uh, flora so that uh, there might not be any visual unity in uh, the composition but that is just a thematic unity so uh, the ways to achieve unity are uh, different. So we'll discuss them as uh, one by one. So one is proximity. An easy way to gain unity is to make separate elements look as, as if they belong together. So if we arrange different uh, shapes, different uh, visual elements together, and then they uh, look unified. For example, this is a uh, example from uh, taken from Laurel and uh, Pentax basic design. So in the first composition A, if we see there are different elements, all have different color, different texture um, and there's uh, 
they, they are not together. In the second composition in B, they are placed in the closer proximity. So, in the second composition, we perceive this circle, this uh, rectangle and uh, triangle and this, uh, these four things together as a com uh, combined one. But in the first composition, we do not perceive that. The next uh, way to achieve unity is repetition. Perce uh, perceiving a visual path and a connection uh, be, uh, be based on the repetitive arrangement of, a, of different shapes or different uh, lines, uh, lines or texture can create unity. For example, in this um, poster, we can see there is a similar two shapes are repeated twice. The color is different. The shape also has a uh, this shape also has a 2D effect, whereas, whereas this uh, shape has a 3D effect. But still, we un uh, unite them because of the continuity, the uh, visual continuity we have. For example, this is a uh, example from web design. So, if we see the pop-up window here and the backdrop has unity because of uh, has con uh, unity because of the continuity. The continuity is there in terms of color. So, you can see a uh, yellow color over here that is also there in the backdrop. This red color uh, usage of red color is there that is also there in the backdrop and the square uh, squarish format is also matching with the uh, backdrop. So, there is a unity because of the principle cons uh, continuity. The next is similarity. If there are similarities in the elements of design, we also perceive the composition as uni unified. For example, there is a packaging design. So, different packaging design has uh, different names, different colors, uh, different products packagings are um, of different colors and different names, but still you can see the unity uh, achieved. Uh, uh, with the arrangement of the elements of design. So, in the first example, uh, the color is uh, the color of the product is uh, red, and the second example, the color of the product is um, uh, material which is there is um, uh, green. But still, the uh, shape of the pro um, uh, packaging and the labeling and the uh, typography used and the texture, everything is same. So, they uh, create a unity among the uh, product range and they uh, talk about a brand identity. The next is closure. If the uh, mind uh, try to connect the individual elements which is uh, there in the uh, uh, closer uh, proximity, but in uh, this is different from the example which uh, we discussed uh, earlier. The example we uh, see over here, this is uh, four different absolutely different um, um, uh, shapes together uh, arranged together that is why we perceive it as the same um, uh, as the same composition. But here if we see the example it will be clearer. For example, IBM's uh, logo and WWF's logo. So, in the, uh, terms of closure smaller element does not have any meaning. When we see it to, uh, together then we can read the IBM the uh, complete uh, fonts of I, B and M. But if we uh, see it in a fragmented way, these are just uh, comp a series of rectangles. Similarly, in this uh, logo of WWF, there are some black and white compositions. Because of the uh, close proximities, they create the shape of the panda. So, there is a, uh, the, in this principle, the uh, shapes are together and they, uh, the meaning comes when they are com composed in a, uh, uh, in, in a particular uh, way and positioned in a uh, particular place. So, the holistic meaning is there, but individual meaning is not there. Then, the an another uh, way to achieve unity is common fate. Elements which are likely to be perceived as a unity, uh, uni uh, as a one unit, if they are uh, moving in the same direction. For example, uh, the famous uh, poster by Herbert Baer, uh, the Bauhaus poster, uh, where uh, uh, portraying Kandinsky. So, uh, the first is the original poster. The second, if we see the elements, different elements, the typographic elements, the photographs and the uh, shapes we uh, see are there and uh, the background is deleted. The third example is actually uh, the poster is tweaked. The first uh, composition, what uh, first element, what we see the photograph is changed, the direction is changed and here the typographic uh, 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 typography and the boxes, uh, the directions are changed. 
So if you see the for, uh, this example and this example, here all the elements is fol uh, are following a same particular direction, which is this axis. Whereas in this example, these two are not following the axis. So in this example, this part and this part is not united with the rest of the composition because of the principle that is um, uh, because of the um, uh, common fit um, of unity is not achieved in the this thing. So this is actually a distorted uh, uh, composition this the origin uh, from the original composition. Then another uh, way of achieving unity is continuity in the line. So if lines are uh, always uh, uh, perceived as, a, uh, as, as if they are following a uh, simplest path, so if two lines break, the viewer see the overall movement rather than the break. So for example, if we see there are psychic lines in the top of the row, this is another row, the top of the row, these are, uh, this acts as a line, this also acts as a line, this is a top, of, a top line of the shape. So these lines actually break over here, over here and also over here, but we perceive this line as a united line. So this is actually based on the uh, principle of continuity. Similarly, we can see a line over here, a line over here. Because of the photographs alignment and the text alignment, we perceive a line. Similarly, the, uh, uh, the uh, gray patch over here follows a line at the bottom of this uh, photograph. So if we sum up, these are the principle, uh, these are the uh, uh, way to achieve unity. One is similarity. This is the thematic um, uh, photograph, uh, th thematic diagram. So uh, this, the circles are united and uh, these crosses are united. And the proximity, when we cluster them together, they create unity. So here in this composition, we actually have two different um, part, two different zone of the com uh, composition because of the proximity of shapes. Here we have the continuity of line. The line breaks over here, but it continues from here and connects this line. So if this part, this curvilinear line is omitted, then this part and this part will not be united. Then because of the closure, the two elements are meaningful when they are together. So there is a holistic meaning uh, in, the, uh, in this principle. So uh, that, that was the example for IBM's logo. And then common fit, when together they create a meaning and continuity of line is this thing. So unity with variety is a very important uh, thing in the uh, visual uh, 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 composition. So we, uh, if everything is totally unified, then there is a lack of um, lack of drama in the uh, compositions. So the user lose its um, uh, their in, uh, intention to look at the uh, composition because there is no uh, uh, hidden uh, meaning in the composition. So uh, some part of the variety has to be uh, there in the co uh, composition uh, in, uh, uh, along with the unity in terms of uh, um, elements of design. For example, in the first composition, the composition is uh, boring because it is absolutely united and it is very easy to perceive the composition. So uh, first is black, then uh, white, uh, the uh, regular pattern is there. The second and third composition, there were a little bit varieties added with the composition, though there are only uh, black, white, uh, there, there is a play with black, white and grey and all we have uh, the uh, squares in the composition but still we have variety. So the unity in this composition is the square and the colour in terms of shape and colour but there are variety in terms of rhythm. So in this example, there is also a good example of unity with variety. Here we have different kind of line qualities, that is the variety, different colours but still they are unified because of the curvilinearity of the line. The curvilinearity of the uh, text and the curvilinearity of the shape matches each other and even uh, we see the color over uh, here, yellow and then again over here, it is the uh, same yellow, that is a repetition over here. So this, that is why this uh, composition is unified. But again the variety is also there in the uh, sketchy uh, fonts as well, uh, as well as in the contrast of the photographic reality of the um, part in the uh, bottom. Then the next uh, principle of design is emphasis to create a focal point. 
that is uh, that is very important in the uh, composition if we don't create a focal, uh, focal point the composition just acts as a texture it doesn't have any uh, visual uh, uh, any part where the visual interest will uh, will be there and the uh, to do that we have to create a hierarchy in, inside a composition so to weigh, uh, uh, there are different ways to achieve emphasis. The first way of em um, achieving emphasis is isolation. If we isolate a particular uh, element from the composition, it will augment in the hierarchy and uh, have an emphasis in the composition. For example, we have these two composition, uh, these two photo, uh, one photograph and one painting. Here in the first example, the photograph. Uh, distribution uh, if we um, uh, see in terms of elements of design the distribution of color distribution of texture is absolutely even so this photograph actually acts as a texture and uh, because of the even uh, even distribution of color whereas in this photograph they are again the same uh, theme is the same there are a lot of people but because of the lighting because of the difference of uh, value the this person uh, this uh, foreground is first uh, distinguished uh, distinguishable from the background but even in the foreground if we see because of the isolation of this man from the rest four man the this man is getting the emphasis so in this uh, composition if we think about the hierarchy this here the first level of hierarchy is this so this person gets the first attention then four, uh, these four person gets the second uh, has the second uh, hi um, hierarchy, uh, second level of hierarchy in the composition, and all these persons, though they are uh, their face, uh, face uh, facial expressions and um, uh, bodies are detailed, but because of the illumination level, they act as a background in the composition. So another uh, way to achieve emphasis is the placement. So if we see in this uh, example all the shapes and uh, though they have they have uh, uh, different shapes they direct to a particular shape so here these among all these uh, shapes this rectangle gets the emphasis because of the position and the uh, because of the placement of the other rectangles all the other rectangles are directing to this rectangle Again, uh, in this exa example, we have this uh, poster uh, designed by Adolf uh, Muron. So here, all these lines direct to the star. Because of these lines, the star gets an emphasis. The star's color, if you uh, look at the color uh, contrast and uh, the um, uh, shape and the uh, area it occupies, it's not much and the color contrast is also not high. Whereas we have the higher color contrast over here in the bottom, but because of the placement of this particular vantage point, the star gets the uh, first emphasis in the poster. The another uh, way to achieve emphasis is scale. So if we uh, play with the scale, if we uh, increase the scale of a particular um, uh, known object, the object gets an emphasis or uh, if we uh, also uh, suddenly decrease the scale uh, which also gets an uh, emphasis. We, uh, so more or less, uh, so there, if there is a scale change, so we get, uh, we, cr we can create an emphasis on that object. So here we can see the comb over here and the glass over here and the brush over here are enlarged in scale. So but the other uh, furnitures in the room are of the scale we, uh, we uh, are normally used to perceive uh, them in this scale. So these three objects has the emphasis because of their enlarged scale. Similarly in this composition if we see these uh, top view of uh, sky, uh, sky uh, scrapers over here these two uh, skyscrapers and is absolutely of a different scale than the shoe. So here, because of the color contrast and the scale, the shoe gets an uh, first emphasis and because of the color contrast, uh, the different color contrast, the write up which is aligned to, uh, with the shoe gets an, um, um, uh, 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 the emphasis is there as well because of the uh, direction it is pointed towards the shoe. The shoe gets the first emphasis and then because uh, from the shoe, the, there is a uh, uh, typographic uh, element coming here, so that also gets an emphasis because of their uh, enlarged scale. Another uh, way to achieve emphasis is contrast. So if we cre uh, create a uh, li light and dark 
contrast or a texture contrast or a shape uh, contrast in shape we can create an emphasis in the composition for example here the contrast is created uh, based based on color so here we uh, the complete composition uh, has a tone of blue and uh, the flower over here has a yellow uh, color and uh, if we uh, see the color wheel yellow and blue are the con uh, complementary color so they have highest contrast highest possible contrast in this uh, composition and also if we see this uh, line is a sketched line and this uh, uh, these are the photographs also the this line gets the second um, hierarchy in the uh, emphasis because of its line quality the other for um, things what is used in the compositions are photorealistic whereas this line is hand drawn so that is uh, that is why this line also uh, the face uh, which is uh, created by a hand um, drawn line also has an emphasis in the composition then uh, the other way of uh, creating emphasis is a direction or the pointer if this in this uh, composition we see this two triangle is pointing towards the circle though the circle is uh, smaller in size and um, occupies less uh, area in the composition still the circle gets an higher uh, highest emphasis uh, than the other two triangles here in this composition also we can see the emphasis uh, is there because of the direction if we start reading from here it's metro and police so metropolis if we read o is here so this circle is here and because of this typography it directs toward the circle when we st uh, stop reading from here to there the s is there in the circle so this circle and uh, the center of this uh, this complete composition is this so this create uh, gets an emphasis in the composition the uh, so uh, we can uh, we can see that there has to be a, stru a structural hierarchy in the composition so for example we have uh, two packaging design over here so they are in this packaging design there are photographs there are uh, typography and there are some uh, blank vacant uh, spaces so here in the uh, composition if we see the uh, first uh, write up which starts from here is has a uh, larger uh, 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 font height so this has the emphasis uh, as well we also have our uh, uh, photograph over here which also has an emphasis in the next uh, level but here these typographies are barely readable so this uh, has a least degree of emphasis in the composition so uh, the next principle of design is proportion so in terms of big and small however uh, they are relative but the propor uh, proportion refers to a relative size and size measured against uh, other elements or against uh, some mental uh, norms or standards are perceived so uh, the proportion when we uh, think about proportion we also uh, think about uh, what we already have perceived so if that matches with the proportion we perceive the proportion is uh, proper and uh, uh, and if it uh, doesn't match with our uh, preconceived notion then uh, we we see some uh, anomaly in the composition for example that's why uh, some of the proportion acts uh, 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 seems beautiful in our um, users uh, mind and the some of the proportions look uh, odd in uh, users mind so based on this users experience and uh, users preconceived uh, 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 notion we have some beautiful pro uh, proportions um, uh, proportions are uh, this established beautiful proportions are there for example uh, Le Modular by uh, Le Corbusier so he established a proportion which is um, uh, beautiful uh, in uh, most of the users eye and another is Fibonacci series which is based on the golden mean proportion so these proportions are actually uh, we find them in the na uh, nature so these Fibonacci series uh, and Le Modular can be fi uh, found in flora and fauna for example we see the Fibonacci series in the conch shell we see uh, Le Modular in uh, ideal human uh, body, body part even the uh, Fibonacci series which is derived from uh, golden mean rectangle is there in Vitruvian man's uh, uh, the Da Vinci's Vitruvian man 
So, if we uh, apply this proportion, uh, beautiful proportions, the compositions looks beautiful. For example, in the uh, in this example, uh, uh, the egg, which uh, has uh, which is uh, there in the has a different proportion and also. Uh, uh, in uh, acts as a foreground, but the other uh, uh, elements in the uh, backdrop doesn't have a perceivable proportion. So here in this uh, design, this has a different proportion and has an emphasis in the design. So uh, this is the fir uh, first part of principles of design. In the second lecture, I will continue with the elements uh, and the principles of design. Uh, uh, the next part of the principle of design. Thank you.